channel if you're new here welcome I'm so glad you're here my name is Hannah Olson and I live in Minnesota with my husband and our three kids Sophie Soren and Svea today's video is all about gift ideas or Christmas gift ideas for a six-year-old girl of course these gift ideas don't have to be specifically for a six-year-old girl many of them are flexible as far as the age range goes so these could be a great gift idea for any kindergarten girl a five-year-old girl sometimes even four all the way up through seven or eight so you can just determine that based off of the girl that you know in your life and who you're shopping for but I hope this video is helpful for you I'm really excited to share these tried and true items with you so let's jump in all right I'm going to link everything that I can down in the description box below for you so that it'll hopefully be easier for you to find as you are shopping I am starting with something though that I can't really hold up although I guess I could hold up my membership card but it's a membership to a zoo I think that a zoo membership is one of the best ongoing gifts out there and it's often something that maybe grandparents would want to get and renew or maybe an aunt or uncle could get for their niece or nephew and renew it every year but even just giving one year of a membership is such a wonderful experience based gift we have a membership to the Minnesota Zoo and we love going to the Minnesota Zoo I grew up going to that zoo and it's been so much fun taking my three children to the zoo and since we're members we can kind of pop in whenever we want we're not obligated to stay because we spent so much money on one visit and so it's been a really great blessing and a really Really good gift for our family and I believe it was given to us by my sister-in-law and then also my mom so there have been some different years that different people have given us zoo memberships but I love our zoo membership and of course there are science museums and children's museum memberships that you could get as well but don't forget about those membership based gifts because having that zoo membership has been wonderful for us and it's been a, the gift that keeps on giving because it's not a one-time thing I have my chair scooted back a little extra here so I can hopefully show you items a little more easily. And I've got my list on my phone here so I don't forget anything, so here we go. This first item is, we call them dino eggs in our family. It's a really simple little gift, kind of a stocking stuffer idea, but again, this would be perfect for any time of the year. We call it dino eggs. It's kind of a hard chalk or plaster-like material and inside is a plastic dino, a little dinosaur figurine, and it comes with a sharp stick, kind of a plastic sharp stick that your child can scrape at the egg with and a little brush so they can pretend they are a paleontologist. It's so much fun. Yes, it does make a little bit of a mess, but we try to have the kids do these on a cookie sheet or on a pan. That kind of controls the mess a little bit, but it is the chalk-like material is pretty easy to clean up anyway and to wipe up. So these have been so much fun. My husband has been giving these to Sophie and Soren at different little various occasions, like their birthday party and as a like sibling gift at the birthday party, something little, but again, this could be a great stocking stuffer too. I cannot do a gift guide at all without mentioning the Yodo player. We love our Yodo players so much. Yes, we have two of these now, and I have a whole dedicated video all about the Yodo player, why we love it, why we chose the mini. This is the mini size, not the regular size, and our favorite cards, how it works, why we do the Yodo Club, which is their monthly membership thing that you can stop anytime, but why we like that. I love the Yodo player. My husband thinks it's wonderful and the kids, which is probably most important, they love the Yodo player and they use their Yodos every single day. These again are the mini. They're very easy for our three-year-old, almost four-year-old son to use and we waited till we determined he was old enough to kind of manage it himself and he does a great job. We use these for quiet time every day but also for just quiet listening time in the afternoons or maybe they want to hear a story in the morning when they come down from from their room so I highly recommend looking into a Yodo player for your child I have a blog post about this as well if you prefer not watching a video but you're on YouTube watching this so maybe you'd like the video maybe you'd like the blog post I will link both down below for you we are such huge fans of the Yodo player it is a wonderful wonderful Christmas gift idea 
A couple more things I wanted to mention, just in case you go the Yodo Player route. We love these headphones. They are, I don't know how to say the brand, Zynio. I will link them down below. These headphones have been great. I am I don't have a cord on it right now. I think Sophie has the cord with her stuff, but we love these headphones because they kind of block sound and they're high quality. Sometimes cheaper headphones don't really block sound out for kids. Now our kids don't listen to their Yodo players with headphones on during quiet time because they are in separate rooms for quiet time, but if they both are in a main living area, main living space, then and they want to listen to different stories or something, then they put these headphones on and these are great for road trips and for in the car. So if you are traveling at all for the holidays and you want to get a Yodo player even before Christmas, that could kind of be an early Christmas gift for your child, definitely invest in some headphones too. We have this nice credit card case. It was pretty cheap, like $10 or less from Amazon. And this is where we keep all of our Yodo cards. And so we've got them all slid into slots here in this nice little credit card holder. And this allows you to get a lot of cards and have a lot of cards organized or at least in one spot. Finally, I found this hard Yodo case. It's not like hard, hard plastic, but it is hard enough that you won't smash or hurt your Yodo player if it drops or if someone kind of steps on it. Um, we, here, I'll zip it up open for you. It has a nice little foam insert here where you can slide that Yodo player in and it's easy to get it in and out because of those little divots there. And this actually would hold cards. We just like our credit card holder for the whole family's cards, but you can definitely slip, I think up to 30 cards in here and a little pouch for the charging cord. Now, just a quick note about the cards. Yes, you can collect so many cards and yes, they it is really fun to collect cards and children love that, but we have found that our kids also love to listen to a lot of the same stories over and over. So it's not that you have to buy a new card every week because your kids will get bored with it. They are also learning when they listen to audiobooks like this to really expand their attention span. And I have found that we don't need as many cards as we might think we need. Now we collect them because we love books and stories, but just keep that in mind that you don't have to buy tons and tons and tons of cards. Okay, moving on to a completely different subject. Right here, I've got a mermaid tail. It's like a mermaid tail blanket and you can put your legs in it. This is so perfect, I think, for a six-year-old girl. It's very soft and plush, this one that we have, and it's shimmery too. It's kind of made out of that thick, fleecy, not really Sherpa, but that fleecy material. It's, it's warm, it's a great way to snuggle on the couch and relax and read a book, or for make-believe play, of course, as a six-year-old girl. I think a lot of girls love mermaids, or at least pretending about being some kind of a princess who lives in the ocean, or even being a fish. So I love this mermaid tail. I think it's perfect if you know a little girl who loves mermaids, definitely look into this one. This next gift idea is a little bit smaller. I think it's from the Penny Pegs Etsy store. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry, and I will link it down below. And let's see if I can get it to focus for you. It's pretty bright here up by the light. So there are these little wooden peg dolls with beautiful faces painted on and beautiful designs. There are a lot of different designs and colors out there. I don't think they have a lot of boy and girl dolls. I think it's kind of like a sister sister group or a little set of princesses, something like that. So these are a really fun one, if not for a stocking stuffer, just for any gift, like a birthday or for Christmas. And yeah, I will link this Etsy shop down below. They are so pretty. This next gift idea is a great stocking stuffer or otherwise just a small gift, and it is squishies. That's what we call them in our house. Just any kind of small squishy shape or fruit or animal. This one is a little elephant, and yes, they are kind of, they get lint on them and stuff, but you can kind of wash them off in the bathroom sink, which is also fun for kids to do. But basically, these are something that I feel like all young children love, those little squishy toys. You can get them for a very low price on Amazon and you can get a big box of them, pretty much any amount that you would possibly want to have of these little squishies, but I had to include these in this gift guide for a six-year-old girl. Another go-to gift idea for us in this house is we call them Schleich animals because the brand is like that German brand Schleich. So they, they are these hard animal toys. They are not something you want to throw at each other, which is why I'm recommending it more for a six-year-old girl, but honestly we have loved them for our almost four-year-old boy for many years too. So as long as the kids know to be careful with them, they are wonderful, wonderful 
beautifully painted um, animals and other creatures. They have all sorts of things, even like dragons and stuff like that. But we go with the more realistic creatures. I guess we have some unicorns, so maybe not all real creatures. We have cows, we have horses, we have goats, all sorts of wonderful animals that are so fun to play with and play make-believe games with because we like to make barns and stuff out of magnet tiles too. So even popping a couple of Schleich animals into a stocking or just wrapping them up, even just putting one without wrapping it on top of a gift tied up in a ribbon would be really cute. We love these animals so much. They can be a bit of an investment so we don't buy a ton at a time. We've just added to our collection over the years. Another gift idea is called a Warmie, or I guess the brand is called Warmies. They have so many different types of these stuffed animals that are filled with kind of a lavender scented, um, I don't know if it's like an herbal thing or what, but basically it's a hot pad or something your child can cuddle with that you can warm up. And it is so much fun to give these to kids on cold winter nights and it just is soothing for them. And I think it's a really wonderful gift idea. Sometimes it could be used if a child has a stomach ache, but we like to use it when it's just cold weather outside. They have so many different types of animals for these warmies. We have a white snow leopard for Sophie. Soren has a moo cow, like a highland cow. And Svea, I think, is getting a hand-me-down frog one that we also had already. So we really like warmies in our family. This next gift idea is a gem soap making kit. And this is something I got for Sophie for her sixth birthday, which was back in October. And she is so excited to do it. We have not done it yet and we need to, but it is a wonderful DIY kind of crafting kit. And it's going to be more simple. It's not very messy. It's not very involved for parents who don't maybe have a lot of time or desire to do crafting, but it's so exciting for young children. All of those do it yourself crafting kits where you make your own lotion or lip balm or soap. Those are all really fun, but I thought this gem one would be extra special for a six-year-old girl, and Sophie's very excited to do it because she loves things like gems and crystals and jewels. I think it is such a fun gift idea to give a book and then the stuffed animal that goes along with the book, and you can't always find that or you can't always find really good literature that includes that, but I have a couple suggestions for you. This book is called My Father's Dragon, and I read this to my third grade class when I was an elementary teacher, and they loved it so much, but I think it is perfect for even starting at age six. And we have already read this a couple years ago to Sophie, and so she kind of knows the basic storyline, but it's time for us to read it again. And I plan to read this for our homeschool year this year. It's This one is The Three Tales of My Father's Dragon. It's actually a shorter book than this. It's a chapter book though, and it is perfect to read aloud to your child. And then we have Boris here, which is the name of the baby dragon that this boy rescues in the book. And Boris is very old. We had him when I was a kid, and then I used, it, used him in my third grade classroom. So hopefully I can find Boris to link him for you because Again, this came out a long time ago, but I love the idea of having a little stuffy, we call it, a little stuffed animal to go along with a book as a gift. If you can't find My Father's Dragon or can't find Boris the dragon to go along with it, I would also suggest something like Biscuit. That's a little bit younger feeling of a book. Maybe a six-year-old might not be as interested in Biscuit books, but it's the same feel. So you get the little golden retriever, or is he a golden lab? I'm sorry, the little puppy stuffed animal and then the biscuit chapter book or collection of biscuit stories. So definitely look for an idea like that. I think it is really fun and it encourages parents to read together with their kids and gives the child something fun to cuddle too. Another idea for you is this drawing tablet. This is not a true screen activity. I don't know how it works. It kind of reminds me of those Magna Doodle, I think it's called. And so your child just draws all over the board. I don't even know how well you can see it here. And then to erase, they just click the button and it disappears. And I have loved these for so long. Sophie and Soren love these. And I think they're a wonderful gift idea because it's very reusable. It doesn't totally replace paper and pencil, but it's something that you can bring in the car, your children can bring to church, or it can just be a quiet activity that is technically screen free. This next gift idea is called a Junior's Bedtime Lotion. I wonder how well you can see it here. Junior's Bedtime Lotion is made by a brand called Eight Sheep Organics. 
and I discovered them over a year ago when I was pregnant with our third baby and I was struggling with sleeping and then you know how muscle cramps come and go during pregnancy. So they make an adult sleepy lotion. It's basically a topical magnesium lotion and it smells really good. And then I discovered since that was working really well for me and I still use it every single night, um, that they have a children's bedtime lotion. So we've been doing this for almost a year for Sophie and Soren. It's just a little bit that goes a long way and it's a fun little part of our bedtime routine is to put on our sleepy lotion, we call it. And it smells really nice. It has a little bit of magnesium in it and it just helps the kids, especially when they've got a growing pain. I like to use this as well as a way to kind of massage or soothe a sore leg. So this could be a nice little gift to add to whatever you're getting for Christmas this year or for a birthday too. I'm trying my best not to include way too many books in today's gift guide video because I would love to just gift all books, but I know that's not how every family would do it and not even how my own children would probably appreciate Christmas gifts if it was solid books. But we love books in this family anyway and I wanted to include this one because I'm kind of cheating and getting away with recommending a bunch of books at once. This is HarperCollins Treasury of Picture Book Classics and it is big and heavy. It's kind of like a coffee table book size. We got it as part of our sunlight curriculum back when Sophie was, I think the school year she turned three and we were doing some preschool work, but it is for much, much older than preschool as well. In this book, maybe you can see some of the icons on the side here. We've got, if you give a mouse a cookie, Harold's Purple Crayon, Caps for Sale, Pizza Pizza, which is a family favorite. We have Crichter, Goodnight Moon, what else do we know? A Baby Sister for Francis and Leo the Late Bloomer. There are so many good ones in this book and we just love opening this up on the couch and reading more than one. So definitely, if you're gonna get books for Christmas for a child, sometimes you can get away with a treasury and then they're excited to see it and they will read more than one with their parents too when they sit down, but you're not gifting 100% books. I love this treasury and I highly recommend all the books that are in this one. This next gift idea might involve a little bit of brainstorming on your part too, but it is to create a little crafting kit or a crafting container for the six-year-old you're shopping for because you kind of go off based off of their interests. I was holding it backwards, but anyway, this is something my mom got for Sophie for her birthday, birthday party, and she's already gone through a lot of the stuff in it, but we've got colored popsicle sticks and there were pom-poms in here and pipe cleaners and a lot of other little things like googly eyes and Sophie has loved it so much. It has been a lot of fun for her to go through and a lot of fun to create different craft ideas. My mom also gave Sophie a clipboard with little pictures of ideas of what you can make with popsicle sticks and googly eyes and pipe cleaners. So that gave her, that gave Sophie a starting point too, which I think is brilliant. So if you want to, you can go to a craft store like Hobby Lobby or something and walk the aisles, pick up little crafting supplies in a little container, and then you can even hop on Pinterest and print out ideas of easy crafts, you know, just based off of a picture. Maybe they don't want to read instructions that that child can do. So a little crafting kit is perfect for a six-year-old girl. Another really fun and random gift idea is to get one of those sets of glow sticks, like a whole big set of glow sticks, not just plain ones, but the ones that have glasses and a little necklace and things that turn into bracelets and rings. Yes, they are a little bit more short-lived, but you don't have to use all of them at once. We love to use them when we get together with family members and relatives because then all the kids, all the cousins can put glow sticks on, even the adults, the adults definitely do, and then we turn all the lights off and we blast fun music and everyone just dances. And it sounds so silly, but it is so much fun and really good memories for a lot of us. So I highly recommend looking at a glow stick set, but then maybe you want to preface it or add a note saying that these are for a dance party that we're all going to do together tonight or next week or at New Year's Eve. So definitely look into a glow stick set. Another gift idea that could possibly go along with that do-it-yourself crafting kit would be a table tray or a little desk. It's like a little lap desk and I'll insert a picture here. But basically, we use them for homeschool. We love it so much. I got the idea from Brighter Day Press on Instagram, and I usually have whichever child isn't working with me for homeschool time go do their independent work sitting on the floor at that little lap desk. And it's, well, it's not really a lap desk. It's kind of a tray that you would maybe have breakfast in bed on. 
and they're pretty inexpensive but they are so versatile and our kids use them to color on throughout the day as well so that would be a really fun Christmas gift idea. If you're shopping for a child who enjoys board games, then I recommend No Stress Chess. We've really enjoyed this one in our family. I love how it teaches your child to play chess because they ha it has all these little cards that you pull that help explain what each piece does. And it has a two-sided board that also, maybe this will help you a little, but it also has a board that gives you a little bit more direction in terms of what each piece can do. So no stress chess is a really good way to ease into learning chess and that's a great kind of a life skill to know how to play chess or checkers. So this is a fun one to give as a holiday gift as well. We love sticker books in this family. I love them for especially quiet time in the afternoon for our kids. And I like to look for ones that are feasible for whichever whatever age they are at. This one is made by a company called Cupkin and it's called Animal Habitats. This is probably one of my most favorite sticker books of all time that we've gotten. But Cupkin has these really great sticker books. The, they're large rectangle ones. Um, they make a couple other types, but the, these large rectangle ones that they make are so wonderful because, let's see if I can open it up to show you, they have stickers on one side and the page that the stickers go with on the right. So there's not a lot of flipping back and forth and wondering which page of stickers goes with which page of the book. And this one is just really sweet because it's different animal habitats. And they've got the city, they've got the woods, they've got desert, all sorts of really fun creatures as well. So I would recommend this Cupkin brand. We have a dinosaur one, they have a bugs one, and a birds one as well. This is available on Amazon usually or on Cupkin's actual site. This is another thing that is perfect for a road trip. So if you're road tripping over the holidays or maybe around Christmas time, but also New Year's, definitely look into a sticker book like this that your child can do quite independently. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope it was helpful for you to see these gift ideas for a six-year-old girl or for any girl in that age range. I love sharing items that are tried and true and ones that we actually own and love as a family. So I will link again everything down below that I can for you. Hopefully it makes your shopping or your brainstorming session a little bit easier. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming content. I have been loving uploading videos a lot more more in 2023 than ever before so hopefully we can keep up with that and I'm so glad to have you here and I hope that you will stick around. I also have an email newsletter that you can subscribe to if you want to get in on some extra fun content that you won't necessarily find here on YouTube and I have an online motherhood and home management course called the Present Mama Playbook and currently it is closed for enrollment but I would love it so much if you would join us in the next session. I have loved seeing how this has helped other women in terms of running their homes and getting a fresh perspective on motherhood. You can join the waitlist for that down below in the description box. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you're at and I'll see you in my next one.